that's something you see every now and then. Or at least in Virginia Beach, you do not see supermotos very often. At least I don't. I've seen more super, supermotos on YouTube than I have in person. But anyways. Uh, what's going on guys? So, we got another FAQ video for y'all to come across and learn about, I guess. It's pretty cool. Sorry, I'm, I'm just like, oh fuck, supermotos. It's kind of weird. You don't see supermotos around here. Not a huge area to ride around here in supermotos, unless you got the Pungo. Um, and even if you're out in Pungo, you're on a lot of people's property. Um, but I guess when you have a supermoto, you ride on other people's property and just be like, fuck it, YOLO status for, for life. I guess that's how it works. So whatever. The mentality of a supermoto rider. But, anyways. But, uh, anyways, guys, so, uh, another really popular question I, I got, I, I get, um, with FAQs. Oh, sorry about your penis. Um, ooh, half assed a quick shifter. Not cool. Um, is, uh, gear. A lot of guys are, uh, worried about gear and whatnot um, which is good it's a good thing you're worried about gear because uh, you should be worried about gear um, being worried about gear is, is basically the same as worrying about your life um, in regards to uh, safety and whatever so um, I get some people that will message me and, and telling me that they don't, they don't uh, they don't have enough money for gear because they bought their bike well my uh, my rule of thumb has always been if you can't afford the gear then you can't afford the ride that's just been my rule of thumb so uh, even before I took the uh, the MSF course even before I did all that shebang I actually um, had had a helmet like three or four months prior to me riding and had a jacket uh, Jack was actually uh, I bought after I started riding. Yeah, I squitted. I mean, everyone squids when they first start riding, I guess. Not a great thing. If you can avoid it, you should. But, uh, so I got a jacket next and then got boots and then I'll eventually get jeans when I feel it's necessary. But, uh, I don't feel like, uh, jeans are as necessary as a jacket and or a helmet and gloves. I think those are the uh, three priorities and boots. Boots are nice to have too. Um, a lot of people, um, they want to go out and they, they have to buy like the top name stuff for some reason when they start riding. I'm, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. However, you don't have to do that. There's a lot of companies out there that make a lot of stuff. Um, for example, Rock, uh, who Jake is sponsored or works for or however he does his shit. Uh, Rock is a great company. I mean, I mean, look at the designs of the helmets. The helmets are just flawless. The helmets are light. The helmets, I mean, the whole company is about safety and, and everything about Rock is just legit and, and really cool. However, it's expensive. This shit ain't cheap. And when you're getting into riding and you just buy a bike, you don't necessarily have that type of money. So, if you're wondering what my first type of stuff was, because you gotta look at it like this, if you're learning to ride, it's not if you fall, it's when. So you gotta kinda plan for that. So I bought a $100 helmet, Scorpion EXO 400, for my Ninja 250, and just had it, it was cheap helmet, 100 bucks. Brand new, DOT approved, all that good shebang and stuff. Not like cool, crazy graphics, didn't have like, fucking air vents, like, galore in it, like an Icon helmet would, but it was just the principle of it. So, um, you don't have to buy very expensive gear. Every every brand is great. Showy is fucking ridiculously awesome. Uh, Dionysia, or whatever the fuck you say. Uh, that's all top brands. Icon, um, Scorpion, the great brands. Um, but don't feel pressured to have to buy something just because everyone else has it when you start riding. Um, it's not its not really how it works. You kind of just buy it within your budget and get it if you can. And kind of work it like that. But, but anyway, so it's the same thing with gloves.
gloves and jackets and stuff and whatnot. If you're ever wondering what I wear, yes, I wear uh, all Icon gear. Icon gloves, Icon boots, Icon helmet, Icon jacket. And a lot of people don't like Icon. I mean, a lot of people like Icon, but a lot of people are like, Icon's just in it for designing, and they're sa they're not even safe. Well, uh, I would partially agree with you at some point, I guess, because they have great designing. But uh, after uh, the jacket had saved my life when I got in an accident, I really can't agree with you anymore because it was an Icon jacket and it saved my life. So, and they have to pass the UT standards too. So, I mean, this is a little short vlog, guys. A little FAQ section vlog for y'all. Oh, it's gonna fucking rain on my shit. That's gonna suck. Why are we not going faster than 35, you cunt? Excuse me, cunt. In the Altima, I'm gonna have to ask you to move the fuck out the way. Please, bitch. But anyway, so if you have any questions about gear, um, kind of listed everything there for you guys so you can kind of go around it like that and figure out what you want what you need um, it is always nice getting the coolest stuff I guess you could say but uh, you also got to think about your safety and and you can't go outside your budget lines so you know so for you beginner riders out there just get something temporary just get something for the first year of riding first six months seven months get something cheap bitch but anyways I look the supermotors went around them too I feel like I'm one of them I wish I could have supermoto fucking Jackie Jackie uh, Chase's uh, supermoto was the first supermoto I saw in person at his meetup before she got fucking stolen um, but I'm gonna head towards this storm for some reason because I'm an idiot but I hope you enjoyed the gear vlog. I hope you guys liked it. If you didn't, then I'm sorry. If you did, leave a comment. Let me know what you think um, and whatnot about gear and what you have. Um, oh, another great thing about gear is gear that is Snell approved. It's like another standard and it just makes it even safer. But, I don't know, guys. Everyone take it easy. I hope you like this section.